super nice out here. I wish you guys could feel this. Look. It's early in the morning, you know, seven o'clock. So. so I never did clean the air conditioner of my daughter because I saw I was concerned about this and uh, it leaks like crazy. See that crack right there? I'm gonna super glue that. Then I'm gonna epoxy around it. I, I could just epoxy the whole thing in place, put some on the thread and screw it up on there and it would never come loose. But, you know, it has this filter. So when the filter gets clogged, I gotta be able to screw it back off of there. So I can't just do it solid in place. And you see where the hose nips on there. So, you know, it's cheap. If I, you know, still had access to a lathe, I could just, uh, you know, get some scrap out of the trash can and, um, you know, work on my own hours, like at lunch, and make one of these real quick out of steel. Aluminum probably is what I would do. Make it real quick, boom. Case closed on the fixing it ever again, because it's actually something that will last. Yeah, somebody should make a company called something that will last and everything they sell is quality. It's job one. People with money would buy it every day. They don't want to, every time they turn around, something breaks, no. So, you know, the threads are on the inside of this thing. So I didn't want to get any, um, I'm gonna put some marine um, epoxy on it. You see the two cans in the mix gonna put that on there to give it sturdiness on the outside but I didn't want it to leak through that crack to get into the threads so that you cannot screw it on the mail so I just put a little bit of super glue right there on the edge of the outside of it I'm gonna put that can on it to hold it tight until it dries and then after that I'm gonna make sure it screws on there first then I'm gonna screw it on there and epoxy the outside then I can when the time comes that filter gets clogged I can um, get it off still is this an ant lion thing I'm gonna drop an ant in there watch he's in there can you see him there he is he's getting out get down there yeah Maybe there's no ant lion in that one. Huh. Wow. No pop. Hmm. Hey, ant. Where you at? He's sleeping. <gasps> I can't catch it. Oh, there's an ant lion trying to get that ant. See that? It's going to pull him under. It's a fight for your life. He's still trying to get him. The ant lion's got some pinchers he sticks up there. Pulls him down. Ant's trying to be still right now, or else he got got his pinchers on him. Yeah, I think he's got him. Got him. Where's he going? That's another reason I don't like the free range ticket. Because you see all those holes? Those are all ant lions. Every one of these holes. I was just checking right there to see, are they still viable? Are they still living in there? And they are. So they're all ant traps. 
That's all they do is eat ants. I don't know if you heard of ant lions. If you ever lived in Florida, you know. And uh, that a hole we were just looking at, there's a lot of ant lions right there. Look at all these. That's a whole colony of ant lions. But the chickens will eat the ant lions. They know there's a bug at the bottom of each one of these holes. So, you know, they eat them, the ants get more. So, I think the ants not wiggling anymore down there. Nope. And look over here. Lord, these must be some humongous. The big ones live under here. Wow. Don't eat my ant lions, chicken. This is the tropics. I need my ant lions. Ant lions are your friends. <laughs> so, I want to pick up papaya a little sooner than that last one. You know, it gets, it was super sweet, but you know, when you eat chicken tonella, you don't want it to be sweet. You know, you just want it to be green. So as soon as I see another little one like that turn, these are the smallest papayas I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know why they're so small. Evidently, this is a, um, I don't know what you call it, pygmy, pygmy papaya tree. So, yeah, tied us up right now. It's about plastic picking up time. I see, see them plastic bottle right over there. Stuff like that is starting to show up. And this glass is right around there. Where is that? The lock is right there. It's a pair of some kind of glasses. There's a little stuff like that everywhere. So, I kind of do my rounds. I tried to get a sponsorship from Greenpeace, though. They sponsored it. Maybe I could hire some people. I'd be glad to have some money around here and go around and pick up plastic in the sea. There's some plastic right by my front door. That blue. I'm so blue for you. I think that super glue's dry. It don't take long. And now I can uh. Marine epoxy, the outside. That marine epoxy will hold it, uh, give it some stabilization so nothing happens again. First, I want to make sure that it still screws on to the uh, threads. And then I might have to get my uh, scribe and maybe scribe out a little bit of super glue if it got in there. I don't think it did. We'll see. It did screw on there. So I decided to. Instead of putting epoxy primer, I mean epoxy, marine epoxy on there, I decided to um, super glue the whole length of the crack so that when I put epoxy primer on there, epoxy, marine epoxy on there, then it won't leak through and interfere with the threads. That's the plan. It's just for stabilization so it can't flex and crack the super glue. Super glue is not that strong. I mean, it sticks fast, but it, you know, a piece of plastic like that, you're gonna, the threads, you're gonna screw it. It's just gonna flex and crack it right back up. So this is the outdoor bathroom. You know, it's a rough bathroom. See how dirty it is and everything. Nobody uses this. Just, you know, we might wee in here and rinse our feet off and stuff. But that's about it. Yeah, the windows stay open, it's all right in here. If you want to take a shower, you could. I mean, if I wanted to get it fancy for a party, I would clean it up for a party or something like that. Right now, I don't give a dang about it. Tell you the truth. There's a sink, you can wash your hands, a little bit of soap, boom, pee, boom. Roll out. Fill a bucket up if you want to. You know, like on that thing there. 
If you don't want to go inside to fill the bucket up, you can always do it back here. Behind the, I wanted to make a faucet to water the yard. So there you go, the hose to water the yard. And I, I used to rinse my feet out here, cause then I walked down this, to keep from getting my feet dirty again, I walked down the drainage ditch thingy. Here's my wife and my aunt from Florida uh, in the dirty kitchen in the backyard. I caught them on CCTV. <laughs> I'm in the living room uh, spying on them in the backyard back there in the dirty kitchen in the backyard. <laughs>